we are building a State Department of Education that has the capacities for ever-changing needs, and we will be uh, working to conduct a capacity review, I'd like the board to know, um, coming up in February of the State Department of Education, um, and that will be something that we think is important to do regularly so that we know that we are able to meet the needs of districts and uh, meet the needs of students ultimately. Today, and we'll have a presentation, um, as I mentioned earlier, about the amended budget request for fiscal year 2016. Um, there really, as you know, we have had changes at the time uh, that we had our board approved um, budget. We had lost our waiver. There was anticipated cost associated with that. We were able to remove those. Uh, we also made um, adjustments that would reflect the sensitivity we need to give to the current climate with our um, state's economic conditions with um, a more conservative approach. So we've actually cut out $70 million from what was proposed and voted on by this board. Um, yet, at the same time, we looked at how can we address the needs of our teacher shortage, and part of the answer to that is to have a plan to bring our teachers over five years to the regional average. We are losing teachers to other states and other industries, so we looked at those states that are closest to ours, that are our border states, and developed a plan to get to a average regionally. We also want to move off the list where we find ourselves at the bottom of performance in Oklahoma. And in order to do that, this is going to mean increasing instruction time. So part of that budget and performance analysis that we were requested uh, to provide for the Senate committee was a additional recommendation for five extra paid days of instruction. So this is where we reach a $5,000 figure of uh, increase for teachers. We're talking about five new paid instruction days, $5,000 over five years. And then we hashtag OK High Five. And suddenly we've been getting lots of calls and attention about this. But it is not to be, a, should not be a surprise to anyone. Um, during the time that I was on the campaign trail, talking and meeting with Stakeholders all across Oklahoma, 89,000 miles in Oklahoma, visiting with others. We've made it very clear that we have a crisis with our teacher shortage and that it's going to take a plan that builds a roadmap, much like the Department of Transportation did with their eight-year plan. And indeed, they're no longer chasing the problem and building a highway three miles at a time. It's working. We have orange cones all over the highways to uh, illustrate that kind of progress that's happening. It's time to have that kind of roadmap and plan to address the immediate needs we have in education as well as the lingering challenges. So we are looking forward to going over a few minor changes um, that need to be addressed and we would ask for the board to give approval later as we discuss that.